Gazali Shafi in reported, Hi there, I'm Noha Batisha and thank you for joining us on Gazali Line for the latest and breaking news today. Malaysia is storing 41 in Global Food Security Index GFSI 2022. It demonstrates that food security in Malaysia is good but may be improved. This GFSI include affordability, availability, quality and safety, sustainability and adaptability. These are the four key elements of food security. I'm going to pass to Nurin who is in Tissue Culture Lab. Nurin, do you hear me? Alright, thank you Noha. Tissue culture is a method of biological research in which fragments of tissue from an animal or plant are transferred to an artificial environment where they will undergo mitosis and grow. Tissue culture is based on the process of mitosis where a cell undergoes division to form multiple tissues. In agriculture, the use of small pieces of plant tissue which are cultured in a natural medium under sterile conditions and can be induced to rapidly produce new shoots and with the addition of suitable hormones, new roots. These plantlets can also be divided, usually at the shoot stage, to produce large numbers of new plantlets. The new plants can then be placed in soil and grown in a normal manner. The advantages from this method are the plantlets are obtained in a very short time with a small amount of plant tissue and it's disease free since breeding of crop plants for developing high yielding and disease resistant varieties. For example, cauliflower, oil palm, rubber tree, sweet potato and yam. That is why biological knowledge such as mitosis is important in providing food for longer term from using tissue culture method as it can provide sustainable production. That's all from me, your reporter from Ghazali Line, Nurin Inshiraf. Back to Noha. Thank you, Nurin. I was interested in robots that help plants to grow. Daniel, since you are at the farm, can you explain more about this kind of robot? In terms of physics, a drone can play a major role in agriculture and forestry. A drone is a fully electric utility drone capable of carrying a 200 kg. It allows the regular distribution to all kinds of seeds in the consistent speed of movement over land of a large. The Volodron's flight is based on the rotation of 18 vertical axis propellers arranged in the corners of a circle. As a result of the Newton's second law, when a drone is hovering at a constant altitude, the upward thrust generated by the rotors equal the downward gravitational force on the air. Physics is vital in food security because it is important to create robots like Volodron. That's all from me, a reporter for today from Guys on the Line. Back to me. Daniel, I really want to ask you this question. How to keep the food long lasting? Which the vacuum packaging technology which is often used for long lasting food or chemicals. This is because vacuum packaging shields food from the effects of oxygen and other gases. Suction is used in vacuum packing to draw oxygen out of the primary package. The package is totally shut off from the outside world once the oxygen has been removed. This alters the environment inside the wrapping, extending the lifespan of its content. Vacuum packaging removes air to prevent oxidation. Oxidation can influence the flavor of the flavor and color of food by altering and degrading the nose chemical composition. Most vegetables include antioxidants, which are molecules that inhibit the rate of change. The end result will alter the food's flavor and color. Though we use Hoover packing to keep things like this from happening. The cheapest and most popular method of packaging is vacuum packaging. It can prevent us, it can prevent us from spending excessively. Chemistry is vital in this technology because it gives us a way to guarantee that everyone on earth receives the same food that is durable and always available. That's all from me, your reporter Ahmad Daniel. Back to Noha. Thank you, Daniel. Nurin, can you tell me more about why do ratio also include in food security? Reporting from Warung Ghazali, Today, I'm going to interview some of their customers. Do you know that ratio is also included in food security? By prioritizing fruits and vegetables would be the best choices nowadays as they are easier to plant and very nutritious to consume. Carbohydrates that is easier to get such as rice from paddy also could be prioritized as carbohydrates are important to supply energy. For example, the ratio for carbohydrates over fruits and vegetables is 1 over 2. So, with the knowledge of ratio, we could manage the production wisely and prioritize important food sources to us. As you can see, biology, physics, chemistry and mathematics subjects are related to food security. Stay tuned for more information from Ghazali Line. Thank you.